Hello, welcome back to Miss Bell's classroom. Today in class we're going to talk about the 1970s. So I'm going to give you a little overview and then I'll go through each year and some of the major events that happened in that year. I hope that you enjoy this video. So the 1970s had major impacts in American culture. In some ways, the decade was a continuation of the 1960s. Women, African Americans, Native Americans, gays and lesbians, and other marginalized people continued their fight for equality. And many Americans joined the protest against the ongoing war in Vietnam. A new conservative approach appeared in the defense of political conservatism and traditional family roles and the behavior of President Richard Nixon undermined many people's faith in the good intentions of the federal government. By the end of the decade, these divisions and disappointments had set a tone for public life that many would argue is still with us today. Okay, so to start the year 1970, February 18th, 1970, Five members of the Chicago 7 are convicted of crossing state lines to incite riots during the 1968 Democratic Presidential Convention in Chicago. April 1st, 1970, for the first time, the 1970 census counted over 200 million people living in the United States, the 13.4% increase since the last census indicated that a 2 million population now called the USA home. It had taken only 50 years to go from the first 100 million census in 1920 to the second. Once again, the geographic center of the United States population was in Illinois, five miles east, southeast of Mascota. April 22nd, 1970, the first Earth Day celebration is held with millions of Americans participating in anti-pollution demonstrations. These demonstrations included school children walking to school instead of riding the bus. On May 4th, 1970, four students from Kent State University in Ohio were killed and nine wounded by National Guardsmen during a protest against the Vietnam War spread into Cambodia. August 12, 1970, the United States Postal Service is made independent in a postal reform measure for the first time in almost two centuries. In 1971 now, January 2nd, 1971, a ban on the television advertisement of cigarettes goes into effect in the United States. February 8th, 1971, a 44-day raid into Laos by South Vietnamese soldiers is begun with the aid of United States Air. On March 10th, 1971, the Senate approves a constitutional amendment, the 26th that would lower the voting age from 21 to 18. House approval came on March 23rd. It was ratified by the states by June 30th and received certification by President Richard M. Nixon on July 5th. On September 17th, 1971, the advent of the microprocessor age at Texas Instruments includes the introduction of the 4-bit TMS-1000 with a calculator on the chip. On November 15, 1971, Intel released the 4-bit 4004 microprocessor developed by Federico Fagan. It is unknown whose chip predated the other in the laboratory environment. On October 1, 1971, Walt Disney World opens in Florida. Orlando, Florida, expanding the Disney Empire to the east coast of the United States. And here is a photograph of Disney World opening up. You can see the magic key. 
kingdom there and it says 1,500 Disney employees in front of the Cinderella castle so that's a photograph of Disney opening okay so now for 1972 on February 21st 1972 the journey for peace trip of the United States president to Peking China begins the eight-day journey by Richard M. Nixon and meetings with Mao Zedong unprecedented at the time began the process for normalization of relations with China March 30th 1972 the largest attacks by North Vietnam troops across the demilitarized zone in four years prompts bombing raids to begin again by the United States. In 1972, on February 21st, the journey for a peace trip of the United States presidents to Peking, China begins. The eight-day journey by Richard M. Nixon and meetings with Mao Zedong, unprecedented at the time, began the process for normalization of relations with China. On March 30th, 1972, the largest attacks by North Vietnam troops across the demilitarized zone in four years prompts bombing raids to begin again by United States forces against Hanoi and Haiphong on April 15th, ending a four-year cessation of those raids. On May 22nd, 1972, President Richard M. Nixon makes the first trip of the U.S. president to Moscow. The week of summit discussions would lead a strategic arms pact, SALT, S-A-L-T-1, that would be signed by Nixon and Premier Leonid Brezhnev on May 26th. On July 8th, the White House would announce the sale of American meat to the Soviet Union. June 17, 1972, the Watergate crisis begins when four men are arrested for breaking into the Democratic National Committee headquarters in the Watergate office building in Washington, D.C. On the same day that Oignawa is returned from the United States control back to Japan. November 7, 1972, in one of the most lopsided races in American presidential election history, incumbent President Richard M. Nixon beat his Democratic challenger, George S. McGovern, winning 520 electoral college votes to McGovern Govern's 17 and taking over 60% of the popular vote. This election, however, would be the beginning of the end for the presidency of Richard M. Nixon. Once the Watergate affair brought question into the tactics within the election process. For 1973, on January 22nd, 1973, the United States Supreme Court rules in Roe v. Wade that a woman cannot be prevented by a state in having an abortion during the first six months of pregnancy. On January 27, 1973, four-part Vietnam peace pacts, the Paris Peace Accords were signed in Paris, France. The announcement of the military draft ending also occurred on that date. The last United States military troops would leave the war zone on March 29th. On January 30th, 1973, two defendants in the Watergate break-in trial are convicted. The remaining five defendants had pleaded guilty to the crime two weeks earlier. On April 30th, the Watergate affair widens when four members of the Nixon administration Aides H.R. Haldeman, John D. Earl Richmond, John W. Dean, and Attorney General Richard Kleindest 
resign under suspicion of obstructing justice. During Senate hearings on June 25th, Dean would admit that the administration had conspired to cover up facts about the case, leading to the refusal of the president to release tapes concerning Watergate. On June 9th, 1973, in one of the most awesome displays of dominance in sports history, Secret Ariat wins the Belmont Stakes by 31 lengths, winning the Triple Crown of the United States Thoroughbred Racing for the first time since 1948. On October 10th, 1973, Vice President Spiro T. Agnew resigns in, amid charges of tax evasion and is replaced by the appointment of Gerald R. Ford on October 12th. October 19th, 1973, the Arab oil embargo. Oil imports from Arab oil producing nations are banned to the United States after the start of the Arab Israeli war, creating the 1973 energy crisis. They would not resume until March 18th, 1974. 1974. March 7th, 1974, legislation is signed by President Nixon, creating the Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area along the Cumberland River in Kentucky and Tennessee. On May 4th, 1974, Expo 74, the Bureau of International Ex Exhibitions sanctioned special Exposition was held for six months in the Washington State city of Spokane, one of the smaller cities to host BIE World Expo in their history. Held on the theme of celebrating tomorrow's fresh, clean environment, the event capitalized on the Earth Day sentiments of the time and drew over five million visitors to eastern Washington State. On May 7th, 1974, impeachment hearings are begun by the White House, by the House Judiciary Committee against President Richard M. Nixon and the Watergate Affair. On July 24th, the United States Supreme Court rules that President Nixon must turn over the 64 tapes of White House conversations concerning the Watergate break-in. On July 27, 1974, the first three articles of impeachment against President Richard M. Nixon is recommended in a 27-11 vote of the House Judiciary Committee, charging that Nixon had been a part of a criminal conspiracy to obstruct justice in the Watergate affair. On August 9th, 1974, President Richard M. Nixon resigns the office of the presidency, avoiding the impeachment process and admitting his role in the Watergate affair. He was replaced by Vice President Gerald R. Ford, who on September 8, 1974, pardoned Nixon for his role. Nixon was the first president to ever resign from office. And here is a picture of a news article, the morning news, and it says Nixon resigns. It says, I have never been a quitter, but as president, I must put the interests of America first. It was on August 8th, 1974. So, here is Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford. For 1975 now. January 1st, 1975, the Watergate cover up trials of Mitchell, Halderman, and Ehrlichman are completed. All are found guilty of the charges. On January 6th, 1975, the television show Wheel of Fortune premieres. And here is a picture of Wheel of Fortune. Good. 
show there. Oh, I have another one here too. Here is Vanna White on the premiere. March 30th, 1975. At the railroad depot in Plains, Georgia, his hometown former Democratic Georgia Governor Jimmy Carter opens his campaign headquarters for the 1976 presidential race. April 29th and April 30th, 1975, Communist forces complete their takeover of South Vietnam, forcing the evacuation from of the civilians from the United States and the unconditional surrender of South Vietnam. September 18th, 1975, Harris Patty Hearst is captured after her year of kidnap and bank robbery in California. She would be convicted of the crime six months later. So now for 1976, some events. On July 4th, 1976, the bicent bicentennial of the United States is celebrated throughout the nation. The 200th anniversary included Operation Sail in New York City, as well as a bicentennial wagon train that traversed the nation during the year. July 20th, 1976, the Viking 1 space probe successfully lands on Mars. It would be followed by a second unmanned Viking second on the Utopia Plains on September 3rd. The first color photos of the surface of Mars are taken on these flights. July 21st, July 22nd, July 23rd, and July 24th, 1976, 29 people attending an American Legion convention in Philadelphia are killed by a mysterious alignment one year later discovered as bacteria. On November 2nd, 1976, challenger Jimmy Carter, a relatively unknown former Democratic governor from Georgia, best Gerald Ford in a closely contested election. Carter received a slight majority of the popular vote, as well as an electoral college victory of 297 to 240. November 22, 1976, Microsoft becomes a registered trademark. One year after its name for microcomputer software is met first mentioned by Bill Gates to Paul Allen in a letter. 1977, January 21, 1977, the majority of Vietnam War draft evaders, 10,000 in number, are pardoned by President Jimmy Carter. May 25, 1977, the movie Star Wars opens and becomes the highest grossing film at the time. And here is a photograph of this from Star Wars. It says the year's best movie, and so you can see all of the people waiting to go see Star Wars. And here is their photo of the Star Wars movie cover that they had for it. On August 4th, 1977, the cabinet level energy department is created by Jimmy Carter. July 13th, 1977, the New York City blackout results in massive looting and disorderly conduct during its 25-hour duration. So I have some photographs of that. So here we're in New York City, it says no lights, no food, but lots of liquor. So they didn't have any electricity. Here is another photograph of New York City blackout. See they're all walking, it's dark. There's no lights in the buildings. On September 21st, 1977, 15 nations, including the United States and the Soviet Union, 
sign a nuclear proliferation pact, slowing the spread of nuclear weapons around the world. For 1978, March 3rd, 1978, in one of the first articles on the subject of human cloning, the New York Post prints an article on the book The Cloning of Man, which supposes the cloning of a human being. On April 18th, 1978, the United States Senate votes to return the Panama Canal back to Panama on December 31st, 1999. A treaty for the return had been signed on September 7th of the previous year, pending approval by the United States Congress. August 17th, 1978, the first balloon, Double Eagle II, to cross the Atlantic Ocean comes to rest in Misery, France, after 137 hours of flight from Maine. And here is a photograph of the balloon, Double Eagle II, that crossed the Atlantic Ocean and went from Maine to France. Let's see? On September 17, 1978, the Camp David peace agreement between Israel and Egypt is formulated in 12 days of secret negotiations at the Camp David retreat of the president. President Jimmy Carter witnessed the signing of the agreement between Israeli Prime Minister and Egyptian President at the White House. October 16, 1978, Pope John Paul II, Karol Wojtyla of Poland, is elected Pope at Vatican City. Now for 1979, March 28, 1979, an accident at Three Mile Island nuclear power plant in Middletown, Pennsylvania occurs when a partial core meltdown is recorded at a tent situation ensued for five days until the reactor was deemed under control. It is the largest accident in the United States nuclear power history and considered the worst in the world until the Soviet accident seven years later. Here is a photograph of the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant. Pennsylvania. September 1st, 1979. The American Pioneer 11 passes the planet Saturn, becoming the first spacecraft to visit the ring planet, albeit at a distance of 21,000 kilometers. October 6th, 1979, the Federal Reserve System changes its monetary policies, policy goals from interest rate based to a money supply target orientation. November 1st, 1979, the Chrysler bailout is approved by the federal government. A $1.5 billion loan guarantee plan is floated to assist the third largest car maker in the United States. November 4th, 1979, the Iran hostage crisis begins when 63 Americans are among 90 hostages taken at the American Embassy in Tehran by 3,000 militant student followers of Ayatollah Khomeini, who demand that the former Shah return to Iran to stand trial. And here are just some fun facts about the 1970s that um, were not covered earlier. So, 
The Nixon recession, December 1969 to November 1970, was a relatively mild one. It resulted from efforts by the Federal Reserve to tame inflation through restrictive monetary policy, which had expected effect of dampening economic growth. President Nixon signed legislation that officially banned cigarette ads on television and radio. The world's first jumbo jet, a Boeing 747, made its first commercial passenger trip from New York to London. The Pan Am flight carried 332 passengers and 18 crew members. Members of the Ohio National Guard fired into a crowd of students who were demonstrating at Kent State University, killing four and wounding nine. In 1970, the first Earth Day was celebrated and the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, began operations. Japan became the world's fourth space power. After the Soviet Union in 1957, the United States in 1958, and France in 1965. American engineer Douglas Engelbart received a patent for the first computer mouse. Farmers made up 4.6% of the American labor force. There were about 2.7 million farms in the United States, averaging about 390 acres apiece. In 1970, unemployment peaked at 5.9% in December, and the inflation rate was 5.72%. Median, median household income was $8,730, and Americans paid an average of $3,900 for a new car. Five pounds of sugar cost $0.39, cents. a gallon of milk averaged $0.62, cents and a dozen eggs were 59 cents. The Kansas City Chiefs were the Super Bowl champs. The Baltimore Orioles won the World Series and the Boston Bruins clinched the Stanley Cup. Sporting News named MLB legend Willie Mays as the player of the decade. For the 1960s, Hammerin Hank Aaron became the ninth MLB player to get 3,000 hits. In MLB shortstop, Ernie Banks hit his 500th home run. In 1970, a copy of Sports Illustrated cost 15 cents. Midnight Cowboy won three Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. PBS, Public Broadcasting Service, began operations taking over many of the functions of its predecessor. National Educational Television, or NET, Monday Night Football, and all the s and the soap All My Children, which premiered from 1970 to 2011, both premiered on ABC. Broadcast journalist Walter Cronkite hosted the last episode of CBS documentary, The 20th Century, and Casey Kasem's American Top 40 premiered on LA radio. The Toonsbury comic strip debuted in 28 newspapers. EW.com explains that the strip centered around Walden Commune and its inhabitants of self-absorbed, skirt-chasing Toonsbury, Juni Caucus, a middle-aged feminist Everstone Zonker Harris and BD the Chalk and his new age girlfriend. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, visited President Nixon in the White House Oval Office. Hamburger Helper appeared on grocery store shelves for the first time, and Orville Redenbacher introduced his, introduced his gourmet popping corn. Libby Childress of Mount Airy, North Carolina, won the 43rd Scripps National Spelling Bee with the word croissant. And now for fashion, so just kind of some of the trends um, for women were granny dresses, hippie dresses, midi and maxi length, Edwardian inspired lace trim prairie dresses. So for women, kind of 
seeing some of those longer dresses, granny dresses, um, shift dresses, also short mad dresses to knee length skirt dresses, something like this, like this. A lot of pantsuit outfits, like this, like this. Even for the men, here we've got the pantsuits. There bell-bottom pants. You can't see it, but they kind of go out more here. Same with this photograph. And everyone has bell-bottoms here. Homemade and decorated clothing, patches, fringe, embroidery was also very popular in the 70s. Um, pantsuits with silk bow blouses and blazers were worn to the office. Jumpsuits could be worn as casual wear, evening wear, or for disco dancing. There was a lot of denim, so pants, jumpsuits, dresses, skirts, jackets. There was long knit vests layered over tops and pants. And then vintage 1920s jewelry and accessories came back. So, for some of the popular movies in the 1970s, um, Nash, Patton, Woodstock, Five Easy Pieces, Little Big Man, The Wild Child, The Honeymoon Killers, The Great White Hope, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, Airport. Um, some of the top songs for music were God Save the Queen by Sex Pistols. Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac, London Calling by The Clash, Heroes by David Howey, Blitz Kinsberg Bop by The Ramones, I Feel the Love by Donna Summer, Heart of Glass by Blondie, Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough by Michael Jackson, Band on the Run by The Wings, and some of the popular inventions in the 70s. Um, in 1971, the floppy disk was invented. Also in 1971, email started coming about. Um, in 1973, mobile phones started coming about. In 1973, universal product code was invented. In 1974, the post-it note was invented and also the Rubik's Cube. In 1975, push-through can tops were invented, and as well as the digital camera. In 1977, the MRI machine was invented, and in 1975, the Sony Walkman, which is a music device, was invented. So those are some of the top inventions. Um, thank you for learning about the 1970s with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and it was relaxing. I will see you later. Goodbye!